Assalamualaikum. Okay, we meet again. Today, I'm going to share with you another interesting topic in artificial intelligence. That is how to deal with uncertainty. Because when you extract knowledge from the experts as well, and we when we talk with our friends, we use uncertainty. That is the probability. Alright, so I'm going to share how do we embed an uncertainty knowledge into our artificial intelligence system. So the link, the learning outcome that I hope you can you can understand by the end of the video lecture. Okay, so to understand what is the uncertainty and certainty, also the sources, understand types of probability theorem to use given a certain events, and the student can calculate the probability. This video lecture might be divided into two uh, parts, right? And please uh, have a pen and a paper with you because you need to calculate along the way with me. And at the end of the video lecture, I need you to snap a picture of your calculation and upload it into this portal. Okay, what is uncertainty? Uncertainty is something that is not well defined. Okay. Because the world is full of uncertainty, actually. If I say that today is cold, maybe for me it's cold, but for you it's not cold. Okay, so how do we uh, represent this? Okay, we use a temperature. Okay, we try to quantify it. Okay, we say it's 32 degree or 28 degree Celsius. Okay, how do we say that um, Bush is a good president? Otum Hadi is a good president, good Perdana Menteri. Okay, or Najib is a good Perdana Menteri. Okay, so how how good is good? How spicy is too spicy? Okay, so in restaurants, for example, okay, they will prepare uh, three types of sauce, okay, where you can see that this is the original, this is a medium hot, and this is extra hot. Okay. So we try to quantify this because we cannot actually describe how spicy is too spicy. Okay, and different people have different level of acceptance of several things. So there are uncertainty in our references. In another example, okay, we can say based on our experience, okay, it has been raining every afternoon. So probably it will rain today. Probably. So that there, there is uncertainty. Alright, so in Malay we call it uh, kemungkinan okay uh, and also kebarangkalian right so reasoning with uncertainty how do we need to tackle this okay we can tackle this using heuristic heuristics okay by using a rules process and knowledge from the experts so that when we extract knowledge from the experts in uncertainty situation the expert will give uh, their values or cues which one we need to uh, triggers, the action we need to triggers. Okay, for example, if it is too hot, so they will say, okay, about uh, 30 degrees and above. Then we do this, this and that. Alright. Secondly, we can use empirical association, which is based on our uh, experience. Okay, we reason with what next to do. Okay, and also based on our observations. The third way is using a probabilities. Okay, so the first two, okay, we need to do that uh, based on our experience, based on the expert experience, and we need to do that during the um, knowledge acquisition that you have learned before, right? Okay, so now we are going to learn about probabilities now what is conflict okay conflict is another thing in uncertainty okay whereby it happens when two or more rules are similar okay but they produce a different output okay let's look at the example here okay rule number one if light is green then proceed if light is yellow then go to R1. Okay. That's mean we wait for light to green then proceed. Okay. 
if the rule number three if light is yellow then go to r4 wait until red uh, the lights turn to red then we stop okay so if you look here rule number two and rule number three have the same heat or the condition light is yellow but they have a different process okay different conclusion so which one should we follow okay this might be uh, alien to us okay but just to share knowledge if in malaysia uh, lights mean the traffic light uh, green sorry the yellow lights mean the traffic light is turning to red okay but in uk it's a, the other way around uh, light yellow light meaning that it's turning to green okay so both r2 and r3 have the same head so both can be triggered so if we use a forward chaining okay that's mean we use from the first we read from the first okay when we reach r2 okay given that condition now the light is yellow so which one we should follow okay so it will trigger rule number two follow uh, then go to R1. Okay, so R1 will be fired. If we are using a backward chaining, okay, R4 will be fired. Is there another method? When there is a conflict, okay, there are three ways to settle this. Okay, the first one is using highest priority, which is we put the highest priority rules okay at the higher position in the queue okay and we can also use the meta rules okay whereby for example uh, rules from experts uh, is more important than a novice which is also ex experts okay so we have like two kind of experts here one is the um, the, the, the more expert more expertise for example or have a many years of experience based on the second experts all right uh, now the third way is using a metal rules tool okay any rules to save life is always on top okay uh, yeah there are many things that we can say about this okay but uh, i just leave it there okay the second way is to uh, follow what is the updated uh, database or knowledge base okay and the third one is to uh, follow the longest matching rules so longest matching rules meaning you have in the head uh, or in the condition there are many uh, condition you need to check there are many ends that if a and b and c and d and e then only we uh, trigger f for example okay so uncertainty is information is not enough to trigger a correct rules okay why we have uncertainty because the implication of if then a weak Okay, and also language representation problems, uh, no data or poor inference, export opinion clashes, and uncertain data, knowledge, and the presentation. Okay, again, uh, we have so many uncertainty in life. For example, even in cooking, if you ask your mom, how many salt should we put? Okay, usually we say, agak-agak. See, that is also uncertainty. So, how to solve this? We need to measure, okay, uh, the proof, okay, that is the probability. So, these are sources of uncertainty. Okay, you can read this, what is the uncertain data, uncertain knowledge, uncertain knowledge representation, and also the inference process. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the probability after this. Uh, pause, okay, and go and take pen and papers. Thank you.